Welcome back to Daytime New York Region. We're here with Angela Dacey from Heaven and Earth, Inc. So Angela, I'm really excited to meet you because I hear all about your segments and we're going to be talking about detoxifying our thoughts today. Yes, right. great to meet you too. Yes, Doing a fabulous too. job. Oh, I thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> but um, so this is my first time meeting you, like I just said, but mm. can you tell me a little bit about yourself and like how sure. you got involved in all of this. Oh, that's a big story. Um, <laughs> I, I love actually helping people detox their thoughts. I really do believe that as we go through life, we get negative thought patterns. We're human. We yeah. start thinking in negative ways more than positive. And a lot of people don't realize that that negativity can actually down the road physically hurt you in a lot of different ways. Um, so what I do is I do different types of seminars, courses, counseling, and public speaking to help people understand how to detox their thoughts. And then the cool thing that I'm on here for quite often is being, I teach in color. So I do a color of the month, which I'm usually on at the beginning of the month, letting Rogers know and all, and all, all the audience all the colors. Know of the rainbow really talk about the energy, right? Exactly, and how it relates to our thoughts and feelings. Because color to me is a fun way to learn. Mm -hmm. So I tie it all together. So that's why I'm here today is to talk about uh, detoxing people's thoughts. All right, so let's talk about detoxifying your thoughts because it sounds easy to do, right? Yeah. I mean, detoxifying your thoughts, how hard could that be? And yet, I'm imagining it's not quite as easy as some people might want you to believe, yes? Well, of course, because we end up with a pattern. We end up with a core belief. I mean, a lot of the times, what we learn, we learn between the ages of 5 to 12, and that's when we adopt these core patterns. So if you're even going to have judgment issues or high expectations, or maybe you're an overachiever and you're yeah. worried about fear of failure, they're ingrained in you, and, and all of us have different ones. But what happens is, is it's like, uh, I want to say it's almost like smoking. It's hard to quit smoking. It's an addiction. Well, so is having that negative thought mm -hmm. or feeling. So awareness is half the battle. And I always tell my clients, if you are aware that you have that thought or feeling, you're already halfway there. Mm -hmm. When you acknowledge that something needs to happen with it and to change it, now you're 80% there. Now the key is the 20%, which is the toughest part, which is actually taking action to make the changes. To me, your brain is just like an electrical switch. It's just a matter of you need to just go, okay, I'm going to turn it from one side to another, but you have to be aware first to do right. it. Most of us go through life, we're not even aware we have these thought processes. So, and, and I mean, the, one of the ways I actually noticed it for me, Deepak Chopra in his yeah. book, Seven Laws of Spiritual Success. Famous author, right? Mm -hmm. Famous author. Yeah. Page one, try not to judge for 30 seconds a day. What did I do? <laughs> 30 seconds. <laughs> he judged the judge. I judged it right yeah. away. 30 seconds. And then I started to realize every day, I'd be like, oh, I can't believe they're wearing pants that big. Can you believe that? And mm -hmm. things started happening with my thoughts. And I was like, oh, my goodness. I'm so, I'm judging others constantly. Right. And I don't even realize it. And then you start to realize, how am I judging myself? Mm -hmm. And all this do we look yeah. in the mirror, oh, I need to lose five pounds. Mm -hmm. You know what, I've got too much gray hair. Oh, yeah. And all these things happen to us and we don't realize that they're actually a negative thought pattern that can be sh like switched and changed. Mm -hmm. So awareness is, is the key. Yeah, I actually once read that awareness precedes change. Mm -hmm. totally. um, Robin Sharma, another great author. Yes. I guess, you know, I mean, we hear about the negativity or the negative side about the negative thoughts, but what are some of the symptoms that show up in your body at, that show they are so harmful? Um, okay, can I, make, can I backtrack for just a Please. second? Okay, because some people don't understand how it uh, connects to our body. Right. Right. And this is where actually I say medical and alternative health need to combine and go together. Mm -hmm. So when I teach what I say is that, for example, the medical community takes care of our third and fourth stage illness. And that's fantastic. That is when we are now suffering with an ailment. Thank goodness we've got the medical community. Yeah. Um, alternative health deals with first and second stage. So when I bring people back, I bring them back to the very first stage, which is what are our thoughts and feelings? Second stage is the chakra centers we talk about. How is it affecting us? And third stage is where is the dis-ease in your body? So when we actually have a dis-ease in our body, and it could be something as simple as we're suffering with a uh, common cold. It could be irritable bowel syndrome. It could be colon cancer. It could be whatever. It could be huge. It could be small. Usually there's some form of imbalance on a thought or a feeling. So what we try to do is, is get back into why is that there. So when you're talking about what you could be suffering from, Again, we mentioned fear of failure, fear of rejection, super high. Lack of self-worth, lack of self-love, and I'm going to say huge in breast cancer women. Mm. It's all about the heart, and it's all about this area of giving, and, and giving so much you don't receive. So we have that. We have people who are completely shut off to maybe a spirit world or something of a higher power. They end up with migraines. They can end up with earaches. It's almost like the pressure up here is too big, too hard. Um, if you're a control freak and you're hanging on to everything, colon problems because it's really? about release. So you can mm. actually almost follow, because it's a release, <laughs> you, can almost, you can almost follow the thought pattern and the ailment. It, totally. You can trace it back. It's absolutely fascinating and that's what I've done now for close to 15 years is help people identify what was stage one. Right. And, and if you are um, in stage three and four and you do have an ailment that needs help, 
great, seek medical attention, mm -hmm. but know that until you actually heal stage one, the chances of you overcoming some of the problems are going to be more difficult. So it's kind of go to the root, go to the origin of where this... Which is where alternative develop. health comes in. Right. And that's why the combination's there. So I've done keynotes at Southlake, which is great because I love combining the medical and the alternative health. Mm -hmm. So is that making sense? I, so think, I think it makes perfect sense and I think it really provides um, an aspect of enlightenment and a sort of understanding like you mm -hmm. know, maybe why sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, I'm just curious because we've talked about you. But I'm, I'm just curious about your journey because, I mean, yeah. obviously you've had to have some self-discovery somewhere along the way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's big self-discovery. Um, you know, one in three women are survivors of sexual abuse, and I'm part of that statistic. Mm -hmm. So what many people don't know is that I have lived the, the process of trying to really overcome a lot of negative thoughts and feelings due to some traumatic experiences mm -hmm. when I was a child. So when I was... Um, 18 and I came through two years of a lot of upheaval and realizing kind of flashbacks what happened and what I needed to overcome I was really at a place in my life where I thought this is the end I can't do it anymore this is terrible and, and I'm sure if anyone's gone through it it's a very um, emotionally uplifting or upheaving yeah. thing but then for some reason I, I came to a point where I thought okay I have a choice I mean I can jump off a bridge or I can find forgiveness Mm -hmm. And I chose that route. And that started me on a path um, that really got me, as I was thinking I was on a path helping family members heal, I actually was also helping myself heal. So now I tell my story when I'm out there because I want people to know that I've done the work. <laughs> I just haven't read the books and, and taken the courses. I mean, I have healed a lot of negative thought patterns and healed myself from irritable bowel syndrome, ovarian cysts, terrible PMS, um, migraine headaches. I had a lot of ailments that were connected to those root causes. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. now, yeah. and now you're saying you know, a large part of this battle is identifying that there's a problem. Now, when you get to that last sort of 20% of this procedure or system, right. How does that begin? Like, how does someone begin healing? Either you can do something like counseling, where we can mm -hmm. get really into the root and I can help you through some of the things, or um, courses are fantastic. Mm -hmm. I really feel we're all teachers. Each one mm -hmm. of us has a story, no mm -hmm. matter what it is, whether it's a story like mine or a story like yours and yours, whatever. Um, so when you're in a classroom setting, some people don't always feel comfortable talking, some do, but I find you learn from everyone. So when I teach my courses, it's hugely rewarding for me yeah. to teach, but then have other people as well talk, and they learn from each other. Mm -hmm. And then it's actually starting to take those steps to go, oh, you did that? Okay, I'm going to try that. How do I do this um, and starting now again I'm gonna mention alternative health that's where you can start getting into depending on your ailment maybe I'm gonna see a natural path a chiropractor yeah. Reiki therapist NLP practitioner there's so much out there I have a health directory on my website that people yeah. can go and contact people that I really believe in to start actually now taking the action to do the work mm -hmm. well I think one of the my favorite things about you is that you've lived the life and you can help others live the life. Thanks. For more information about you or anything else that you're doing, where can people find it? Uh, AngelaDacy.com and also I've got a course coming up February 20th called Detox Your Thoughts for a Pay What You Can just to get you into awareness. 905-853-0020. Right. Fantastic. Go to the website, kids, for more information. <laughs> AngelaDacy.com. Really, she gets to me every time. Anyways, Aww. we'll be right back with Thank more you. daytime. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>